Ayan. Hello, good afternoon to all of you students. Ayan. Good afternoon sa lahat na ating mga estudyante ng Bagumbong High School under my class. Uh, 10 lead. Ayan. 10. Uh, ito. Okay. Under my class. Ayan. Wala pa, wala pa talagang nanonood. No? Wait lang. I'll just share this screen to you. Ayan. Para matis ma-invite tayo lahat, I am requesting all of our advisors or teachers no, na manood na ating live today para sa ngayong tanghali. Ayan. So for this afternoon, we will be discussing about the week number, quarter two, week number three of our lesson for this afternoon or for this week. Ayan. Actually, this will be uh, the, this lesson must be presented to you na dapat nung last week pa dapat. Ang nga nga lang, tayo ay merong may naganap na holiday. So therefore, we cannot be able to uh, do a live stream on that day because that is a uh, official holiday. Ayan, meron na tayong dalawang nanonood. Ayan, maraming salamat sa inyo dalawa. Ayan, by, by the way, class, again, I am Mr. Zoran Pivaldissimo and I will be your teacher in uh, for today's lesson. Ayan, wait lang ha. I'll be just calibrating all of my, my gadgets in order for us to have a better kind of live stream for this afternoon. Just wait for a while. Ayan, okay na ba? Kita na ba ako? Ayan, may may you may please uh, please uh, please leave a comment here, no? Tapos paki-share na rin sa ating mga sa klase na tayo may live stream ngayon. Ayan. So ayan, good afternoon, Carlo May G. Lopez from 10B Smooth and good afternoon also from 10 Helium. Ayan. Uh, with all regards, by the way, uh, I'm here with me is also our department head, Ma Melanie Faustino, is uh, who is also Uh, a substitute teacher or substitute teacher for, for Ma'am Pamela L. Cruz and also uh, Ma'am, our very own Ma'am Feli, Feli, uh, Feli Conde, and, uh, one of the teachers also of Pagumbo High School. So without further ado, I think we should start now. Ayan, kahit isa lang yung nanonood sa akin, maraming salamat. <laughs> okay, sige. Let us start. So for this afternoon, we will be talking about the clean public areas, facilities, and equipment. So last week, Nagkaroon tayo ng mismong lesson about sa mis ay last last week rather nagkaroon tayo ng mga lesson about regarding sa mga tools and equipment naman na ginagamit natin sa mismong clean cleaning public area. So for this afternoon, we will now know the facilities and equipments naman. Most especially to the uh, cleaning equipments. Ayan. Now what are our expectation? Our expectation is that at the end of the lesson, at least 95% of the class should be able to A identify cleaning chemicals, letter B follow proper storage of cleaning chemicals and number three, discuss cleaning techniques and so yun yung tatlo na kailangan expectations natin okay now in order for us to know or in order for me to understand or to know if you have some prior knowledge regarding our lesson for this afternoon we will be conducting a pretest or kumbaga parang dinadiagnose ko kung kayo ba ay may kaalaman na tungkol sa ating lesson para sa ngayong tanghali ayan meron tayong dalawang nananood Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong dalawa. Ayan. Uh, mag-comment naman na kayo dyan or mag-share, mag-pakishare naman ito, itong link natin sa ating mga kas kasamahan sa mismo section. Ayan. Sige. Go. So now we will do a pre-test. Ayan. Uh, kindly answer also as I um, show this pre-test to you. Okay. So for the pre-test, we will be just be diagnosing uh, if you have some prior knowledge about our lesson for this afternoon. Okay. Number one. The following chemicals are type of cleaning agents used in housekeeping. Except letter A, is it letter A as acetone cleaning agents, letter B acidic cleaning agents, 
letter C, alkaline cleaning agents, or letter D, neutral cleaning agents. Okay. You may now send your answers and check if it is correct or not. What is the answer for number one? Anyone? Check natin. Kung tama ba ang mismong sagot ninyo sa ating pretest. The following chemicals are type of cleaning agents used in housekeeping except A. Acetone cleaning agents B. Acidic cleaning agents or letter C. Alkaline cleaning agents or letter D. Neutral cleaning agents. Okay, so the answer is, the answer for number one is letter what? What letter are you, is our correct, is the correct answer? This is letter A, acetone cleaning agents. Okay, how about for this one? Ayan. Ko pala nalagay dito yung mga okay, this term refers to hard, crusty deposits of lime, calcium, and other minerals Common in areas with hard water. What is this term? Letter A, scalding. Letter B, scaling. Letter C, soiling. Or letter D, staining. What do you think is this term that refers to the hard, crusty deposits of lime, calcium, and other minerals common in areas with hard water? Ano kaya yun? A, scalding. B, scaling. B, C, soiling. Or letter D, staining. What is the correct answer? Anyone? Ayan, isa na lang nanonood talaga. Grabe. <laughs> Ayan. So, the answer for number two is, number two, number two is letter B, scaling. Yeah, that is the correct answer. Number three, which of the following cleaning techniques does not belong to the group? Letter A, create a cleaning plan. Letter B, keep the windows closed. Letter C, start the, at the top. Or letter D, use chemical cautiously. Which of the following cleaning techniques does not belong to the group? Letter A, create a cleaning plan. Letter B, keep the windows closed. Letter C, start, the, the, start at the top. Or letter D, use chemicals cautiously. What do you think is the answer for number three? Ayan. Ayan. Good afternoon, Peralta, Raiden, Paolo. Ayan. Good afternoon. Ayan. To my president, CJ Rain Samat. Good afternoon. Isabella Jasmine from Tangalium. Good afternoon. Okay. What do you think is the answer for number three? Is it letter A, B, C, or D? Okay. I'm an okay, I'm waiting for your answers. Okay. Number three is num what? Number three, the answer for number three is letter B. Keep the windows closed. Because if it if you keep the windows closed, you will be suffocated by our cleaning agents. Yeah. Number four. These are the substances used to remove dirt, including dust, stains, bad smells, and clutter on surface. What do you think is this? Uh, what do you think is this uh, substance? Letter A, alkaline cleaning agents. Letter B, acidic cleaning agents. Letter C, cleaning agents. Or letter D, neutral washing agents. What do you think is the answer for this number? Number four. Okay, let us answer. Uh, number four, uh, the answer is letter... C cleaning agents. Ayan, this are uh, uh new uh these are the substances. This is a collective term for it. Okay. And number five, what do you think is this? The answer for this. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Letter A. Store in a well-ventilated areas away from HVAC intake vents. This helps prevent any fumes from spreading to other areas of the facility. Letter B, store higher than eye level at and on the top shelf of the storage area. Letter C, do not overcrowd of shelves and include anti-roll lips to avoid, avoid falling containers. Or letter D, never store cleaning chemicals on the floor, even temporarily containers. What do you think is the answer for this one? Number five. Okay, number five. Anyone from the class? Again, I'm waiting for it. Para sa mga sudyante kong manonood ngayon, bibigyan kayo ng plus 5. Day joke lang. <laughs> Ayan. So number 5 is that, okay, it is not, it is correct. The incorrect one is letter B. That is, uh, that is the correct answer, letter B. So you must not store any, any uh, chemical or any cleaning agent. Store uh, uh, higher, in the, uh, higher than the eye level. Okay. So now that we've done with the pretest, let us now proceed to our another activity, which is the name key. Okay, so 
name and give the uses of the cleaning tools and equipment given below. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Okay. So let us have this, this one. What do you think is this equipment? What do you think is, that, is this equipment? Ano kaya yung equipment na yan? Ano kaya siya? What is the purpose of that equipment? Ano kaya yan? At the same time, ano kaya yung purpose niya? Vacuum? What vacuum? Uh, incorrect. Uh, hindi mo incorrect. It is correct, but it is incomplete. Okay. What do you think is the answer for this one? Vacuum? Vacuum. What vacuum? Vacuum tubes? Yes, that is correct. Vacuum cleaner. And the main purpose or the main uh, a function of a vacuum cleaner is used to eliminate loose oil and dust particles from carpet surfaces. And for that, thank you for your answer, uh, Xi Jin Ram. Uh, Sama. Okay. How about for this one? What do you think is this tool? Ano kaya ang tool ito? Yan yung ginagamit sa mga bintana, di ba? Ano kaya yan? Ano kaya yan? Ayan. Yan, meron, no? Maraming salamat. Ayan, vacuum cleaner. Thank you, Jennifer Rivera, also, for answering. Ayan. What do you think is this one? Ayan. By the way, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of uh, to all of us. Ayan, wipes. Okay, Jennifer Rivera, that got it correctly. It is a window squidges. That is correct. And what do you think is the function for this? The main function of it, this is to... They remove unnecessary water surfaces from the floors, walls, and even the windows. It speeds up also the drying process. And the squeegees. How about for this one? Usually, nakita natin ito sa mga supermarkets, right? Nakita na ba kayo ng ganito sa supermarkets sa mismo uh, your gold, sa SM, kaya mga ganyan. Ano kaya siya? Ano kaya ang equipment yan? Anyone from the class? What they think is this one? Mm -hmm. Anyone from the class? Mm -hmm. This is the what we call the floor polisher. The main function of a floor polisher is used in scrubbing. Yung mismong pag-scrub daw, pag-cocus-cos sa mismong sahig, it is stripping and polishing hard floors. When we say hard floors, it is either on the uh, mismong naka-granite or mga naka-tiles naka or even yung mga naka-vinyl. Uh, ayan. Vinyl, wood, floor bed, and etc. Ayan, yung mga hard surfaces or floor surfaces. Next, how about for this one? I believe meron tayong lahat na ganito, no? Meron ba tayong ganyan sa bahay? Ayan, itaas natin, kunin natin at magkuha tayo ng selfie. Ayan. Ayan. Ano kaya ito? What do you think is this cleaning material? Number four is, that is correct. It is a toilet bowl brush. Oh, sorry, nagkamali ng mismo picture. Toilet bowl brush or cleaner. This is essential for removing dirt and skids marks on toilet bowls. Ito yung ating mismo pinahulaan na. Ayan. Number five, what do you think is this one? Ano kaya naman ito? Number five. Number five. Anyone from the class? Ayan. Mm -hmm. Yan, 11. Wow, maraming salamat sa 11 na nanonood, no? Yan, good afternoon to all of you and also, ayan, Gwyneth Garcia, it is a sprayer. Let us check if it is a sprayer. Yes, that is correct. It is an insect sprayer. It is used to use for fumigation to eliminate mosquitoes and other pests. Ayan, so those are our, uh, 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 some kind of uh, review for our last, uh, for our meeting last week, ayan. Now, let us proceed to our main topic, which is the apply of cleaning techniques. Ano nga ba yung mismo cleaning techniques? Paano ba dapat yung tamang paglilinis? Paano ba dapat yung tamang paggamit ng mga equipment, ng mga uh, chemicals natin sa paglilinis? Ayan. When we say cleaning agents class, these are the substances used to remove dirt, including dust, yan, yung mismo alikabok, stains, dumi, bad smells, yung mga mababahong amoy, and any clutter on the surfaces. Ayan. So those are the those are the what we call the cleaning agents. Ayan yung mga gamit na panglinis natin. Okay. Now, we have three types of cleaning agents. We have the acidic, the alkaline, and the neutral cleaning agents. Now, when we say 
uh, acidic clean agents. This is used for inorganic deposits like scaling. Yung mga water deposits. When we see water deposits, yan yung para mga natuyong tubig sa mga tiles, sa bakal, or sa mis even sa mga floor walls o mga ganyan. Meron yan madalas eh. Mga uh, scaling ang tawag natin doon. Mineral scale refers to the hard, crusty deposits of lime, calcium, and other minerals common areas with hard water. So the examples of the acidic cleaning agents are muriatic acid and even vinegar. Yes, uh, vinegar is one of our home regimens or the home remedies for acidic cleaning, uh, for scaling. Acidic kasi yan, sobrang taas na acid na ating mismong uh, vinegar. Ayan. So those are our cleaning agents. Also, Another example is hydrochloric acid, known as muriatic acid, the vinegar and the sulfuric acid. Yeah. Also, we have here another type of cleaning agent, which is the alkaline cleaning agents. It is used to dissolve fats, including grease, yung, uh, yung mismong sebo, yan, oil, and oils, and protein-based substances. Ayan. Yung grease, depende kasi may grease tayo na grasa na ginagamit sa, sa mga motor, but we also have Greases such as yung mismo mga sebo. Okay, yan. Okay. So, protein-based substances. Ang ginagamit natin dyan na panglinis ay ang bleach and ammonia. Ayan. Magka, uh, masyadong matapang yan para mat matunaw nila yung mismong grease and oils. Ayan. Kaya ka mapapansin ninyo, di ba? Kapag konware sobrang baradong-barado na, na, sobrang dami na ng mga taba sa mismong lababo natin, binubuhusan ng bleach minsan or di man ammonia or liquid sosa. Ayan. And when we say naman neutral cleaning agents, these are the pH neutral and non-ionic surfactants that disperse different types of dirt. So therefore, ito naman ay pwede siya for, for any type of cleaning. Uh, cleaning. Pwede siya sa mismong grease, pwede siya sa mismong mga, uh, ski, uh, mga, ski, uh, mga water scales, and so on and so forth. Ayan, all-purpose cleaners yan. Ayan. Now we have common cleaning agents. Ayan. We have the first one, the bleach. Ayan, may, I, I believe meron na alam niyo yung bleach. Ay, magbigay nga kayo ng mga sample ng mga bleach na ginagamit natin sa bahay or sample of bleaches. Ano ba yung mga brand of bleach? Ayan. Anyone from the class na pwede magbigay ng mga bleach na ginagamit natin? Ayan. Ayan. Good afternoon, Pestaño, Raina, Raina Gale from 10 Gallium. Ayan. Good afternoon. Sunrox, that is correct. Ayan. Also, we have the toilet cleaner. Ayan, sa toilet cleaner natin, we have here an example of one of it, of one of these things. Ayan, Mr. Mossel. Ayan. Usually, ano bang kulay ng isang toilet cleaner? Anong kulay ng toilet cleaner natin na ginagamit? Anyone? Ano bang kulay ng toilet cleaner na ginagamit natin? Sino ba dito, pina sino ba dito ang talagang naglilinis ng banyo muna? Baka pwede naman kayo magbigay ng mga heart reacts. Ayan. Tough. Ayan, meron tough yan. Meron din tayo yan. Merong white, merong blue, and also we have also color green, right? Ayan, yun yung mga uh, toilet cleaner. We all, we, uh, the use of the bleach is, you know, as we all know, ginagamit natin yan sa mismong paglalaba din, even sa mismong paglilinis na ating banyo or na ating mga uh, lugar sa ating, sa ating mismong bahay. Ayan. Also, for the mister, yung mismong toilet cleaner natin, it is specifically... Use only for toilet, uh, toilet please. Okay? Yeah. Next, we have also here the bathroom cleaner. We have here an example of Clorox disinfecting cleaner. Ayan. Yan naman ay ginagamit natin para matanggal yung mga water scales sa ating mismong banyo. Ayan. Also, we have also here, we have also here, ayan. We have also here antibacterial cleaner. Oh, we have also example of Domex. Ayan, antibacterial cleaner. Ayan. In order for us to uh, eliminate or prevent the growth of any bacteria on our surfaces or even in our uh, mismong surroundings sa mismong bahay natin. And atin tatandaan, di ba? Ano ba, yung pinak ano ba yung virus or bacteria na talagang iniiwasan natin ngayon? Kaya tayo gumagamit ng mga cleaning agents sa ngayon. Ano ba yung mismong virus na kumakalat na dapat natin mapuksa by means of using these cleaning agents? Ano kaya yun? What is that certain phenomenon or what is that certain virus that we must eliminate so that we mo, uh, in order for us to be safe at home? Yes, the COVID-19. Ayan, the COVID-19. Now, ayan, okay, that is correct. 
Okay. And we have also here, ayan, another examples are these things. Ayan. We have the window cleaner or the glass cleaner. Ayan. Ang pinagkaibahan niya sa ibang mga sa bleach or sa mismo mga toilet cleaners is that this is not super concentrated. Okay? When we say concentrated, kumbaga parang hindi siya ganun katapang but instead, pwede siyang pang dinis pa rin for glass purposes only. Ayan. Next, we have also the floor cleaner. Ayan. Meron tayo dito yung multi-surface floor cleaner. Ayan. In layman's term sa atin, pag floor cleaner, ano ba yon? Yung kulay pula na nakabox, ano ba yung tawag doon? Na ginagamit natin cleaning agent. Or pampapula ng mismong side. Anong tawag natin doon? Na madalas nyo binibili noong face-to-face. -face. Ano yon? Ano kaya yung kulay pula? Minsan dilaw, minsan pa nga white eh. Yan, that is the floor wax. Ayan. So it is not only used for us to shine our... Uh, our floors, but instead, it is also used for us to clean. Kasi, since medyo, maba, medyo, may, medyo may katapangan ngayong amoy, natap, napapatay din niya yung mga bakteriya na nasa mismong sahig natin. Okay, next. We have also the laundry detergent as we have here also. We have Tide. Ano ba yung ginagamit yung laundry detergent sa bahay? Ayan, comment down below. Ano ba yung mga laundry detergent natin? Ako, personally, I, usually, I, we, I usually use Uh, Ariel and yun mismo Pride. Ayan. Pero hindi ako kumakain ng Pride ha. Ayan. Ako ay gumagamit lamang ng Pride. Ayan. Meron gumamit ng Surf. Ayan. Ginagamit ni Regine ay Surf. Ayan. We have also Tide. Ayan. Okay. Okay. Next. We have also the laundry detergent or yun mismo uh, fabric softener such as the Downy. Ayan. Yung gumagamit ng Downy dyan, the anti-back mousse. Especially ngayon na talaga medyo makulimlim kailangan natin gumamit ng mga ganyang klase ng mga cleaning agents in order for us to prevent or to remove the bad odors from our, what? From our damit, okay? Yung mga, yung parang matanggal yung amoy, yung amoy ba ng mismo hindi na to yun ng maayos, like, so, like that, and so on and so forth. Ayan. We have also here the fabric softener, ayan, and we have the washing up liquid, ayan. Taas ang kamay dito ng lahat ng naglilinis o naghuhugas ng plato, nakabisado na kung ilang patak ba dapat talaga ng joy ang ginagamit. Ayan. Sino ba mga naghuhugas ng, ng plato rather, ng plato rather dito? Ayan. So madalas mga bunso yan eh, mga bunso ang mga nag, nagtagahugas ng plato. Ayan. Tama ba ako? Isang patak lang daw, tatlo daw. Ayan. Okay. We have also here the other cleaning chemicals. Okay. So, we have here good multi-purpose cleaner. Ayan, yung zip. Ayan, sino yung gumagamit ng zip dyan? Minsan, may mga gumagamit tayo. Yung mismo mga powder, ayan, na ginagamit natin for cleaning our toilets, our floors. Ayan, so usually ginagamit sa mismo banyo. Ayan. We have also here the mild abrasive cleaning agent. Ayan, usually, ay, panganay daw, naghugas. Di ako sure, sabi kasi bunso. <laughs> ayan, so dito naman sa abrasive cleaner, kung mapapansin niyo, 'di ba? Yung mga puwetan ng mga kaldero natin, ayan, para matanggal yung itim noon, ang ginagamit natin din is abrasive cleaner. Ang abrasive cleaner kasi parang meron siyang mga konting bits siya na para pag kunwari gin uh, coke sa inidoro. Ano ba 'yun? <laughs> ayan, yun yung mismong ang uh, ginagawa ay si yung mismong abrasive cleaner lalagay sa mismong Uh, pinapapahid siya, ay pinap, uh, talagang pinanglilinis siya ng mga pweta ng mga kaldero, ng mga ating mga kawali para matanggal yung mismong itim. Okay. Also, we have here, we have here uh, washing soda or the baking soda. The baking soda is one of the home remedies then para malinis natin or uh, number one to remove the foul odors of our uh, refrigerators and also to remove also the, the uh, some Uh, stains on our floors. Ayan. Also, we can also use the white vinegar or lemon juice. Since these are concentrated chemicals or concentrated things, therefore, they are very acidic na pwede nilang tanggalin yung mga water scales. Ayan. And good afternoon to you, Jamela Ayesha Tangian from 10 Lead. Okay. Next. As we have our other cleaning materials, so in order for us to protect ourselves, from uh, from harm or para maprotektahan natin ang ating sarili sa mismo mga paso na gawa ng mismo reactive acid ng mga chemicals natin since we are dealing with chemicals right 
So therefore, we must always protect our hands. Ayan. So by means of using our rubber gloves, ayan, we must we can protect our bare hands from being uh from being harmed by our uh, by our harmful cleaning agents. Ayan. We have uh yan ito yung mga best friend na mabunso or na mapanganay, mga tagahugas ng pinggan, ayan, yung mismong ating dish sponges and also the microfiber cloths. Ewan ko class ha, pero siguro taas ng kamay dito or mismong mag-like naman kayo kung kayo ba ay yung mismong klase na pag naghuhugas ng plato, pinupunasan pa ng mismong uh, cloth, clean cloth, yung mismong lababo at pati yung mismong uh, uh, paligid ng lababo para talagang tuyong-tuyo. Ayan, siguro taas ng kamay or mag uh, mag comment kayo mag uh, mag like kayo ng inyong mga na, mag like naman kayo para malaman ko if kayo ba ay talagang naghuhugas ng plato ayan ako daw siya daw okay sige next okay taas ang kamay ayan kasi mas maganda tingnan kapag tuyo ang mismo lababo tama ba ako ayan next now may i ask you who is your cleaning bff Ano ba, alin sa mga yun ang um, cleaning BFF ninyo? Sino ba yung kadala, kadalasan yung ginagamit sa mismo paglilinis? Comment down below kung sino ko ano doon yung sa mga na-discuss ko yung mismo tingin nyo BFF nyo na talaga. Ako ang BFF ko yung mismo sponge. Ayan, kasi ako talaga taguhugas ng plato dito sa bahay. Ayan. Jo sponge, joy at surf. Ayan. Sponge, water. <laughs> Ayan. Siyempre, kailangan naman talaga natin ng tubig para ma pa ma ma maging malinis yung mismo mga hugasin o yung mismo CR natin. Ayan. The water. Ayan. With, uh, ayan. Water, joy, sponge, towel. Ayan. So much for that. Let us now move on to our next topic. Next, let us proceed to the cleaning techniques. When we say cleaning techniques, this involves meticulous Hand washing, maintaining a clean environment by preparing a clean field using clean gloves and sterile instruments and preventing direct contamination of materials and supplies. When we say meticulous, ibig sabihin ito yung meticuloso yung kumbaga parang talagang critical hand washing. The uh, preventing direct contamination means naman yung mismong contamination kumbaga parang from one place to another napapasa yung bacteria. So kailangan ma-prevent natin yun by means of this cleaning techniques. So what are these cleaning techniques? Number one, always create a cleaning plan. Make a checklist on what to clean first. Ano ba dapat ang mismo lilinisin mo? Saan ka mag-start? Sa mismong kwarto mo ba? Sa mismong lababo ba? Sa mismong uh, salas nyo ba? And so on and so forth. So by means of creating a cleaning plan, nagkakaroon kayo ng mismong systematized na pagkakanan uh, paglilinis. Okay, alin yung dapat nyo linisin every day? Alin yung mga dapat nyo linisin every week and every month? Okay, yan. Next, start at the top. Ayan, start at the top of the room, letting the dust falls before working downward to avoid repeating cleaning procedures. Okay, so dapat daw kapag kayo naglilinis, tatanggalin nyo muna yung mga dust sa mismo taas na mga floor, sa taas natin mga cabinets. Ayan, para at least yung mismo dust na napupunta sa mismo ilalim ay hindi natin kagad wawalisin na ulit. Ayan. Next, Look out for the furniture. When doing the dusting, cover the furniture to avoid them from being dirt or stained. Do not forget to clean them too. Ayan. So, kung meron kayong pang-cover, for example, kayo, you are dealing with your bedroom, ayan, kapag kayo nagda-dusting, dapat kinokoveran ninyo yung mismong kama ninyo para hindi siya malagyan ng mismong mga uh, alikabok. Okay, number four, dust your bulbs. Sino dito yung may mga... Uh, may mga hanging bulbs. Ayan. So, whenever you are dealing with this, uh, with your, uh, with the light bulbs, giving regular dusting to light bulbs is important to improve the brightness of the room. Ayan. So, check-check din yung mismo mga bulbs atin dyan. Baka mamaya kaya madilim ang kwarto kasi punong-puno na ng mismong alikabo. Punas-punas din tayo pag may time. Next, use chemicals cautiously. Always wear PPE or personal protective equipment using cleaning chemicals without precautionary measures may lead to health problems. Do not use chemicals that are you are not familiar with. Ayan. So if you are you are not if you are not familiar with uh some uh chemicals therefore you may ask help from your parents from your elder sisters or brothers para mas maintindihan niyo kung paano siya ginagamit. Next, 
care for clean equipment. Ayan, sino kung si meron man kayong mga vacuum cleaners or mismo floor polishers sa bahay ninyo, dapat yan ay pinapangalagaan nyo. Do not overlook the cleaning appliances that makes your cleaning job easier. Kasi Ari, sabi nga nila, kung sino pa, ako na dapat yung tumutulong sa'yo, yun dapat ang alagaan mo. Kung sino nagmamahal sa'yo, alagaan mo. Huwag yung mismo sinasaktad ka lang. De joke lang. Dapat yung mga, uh, mga nagbibigay sa'yo, ng, nagpapadali ng iyong buhay, ay dapat inaalagaan mo. Lalo ng lalo ng mga clinic repair natin na yan. Number seven, keep the windows open. This will help you to clip Keep the room properly ventilated, especially when using chemicals. It may also add natural brightness to make surroundings well lighted while working. Ayan. May, uh, may I just share? Ayan. May I just share, no? One experience. Ayan. So I am just washing or I am cleaning our bathroom. Naglilinis ako ng aming mismo banyo. Now, ang ginawa ko, <laughs> grabe, ayan. Ang ginawa ko is sinarado ko yung pinto. Ang nangyari, muntik na ako masuffocate kasi I'm dealing with, uh, I'm using bleach and also muriatic acid. And bawal pala yan. So buti na lang kamo at nabuksan ko agad yung pinto at hindi ako nasuffocate. So therefore, dapat kapag kayo ay naglilinis, most especially ng banyo, no? Dapat nakabukas ang inyong mismo pinto or mismo bintana or ventilation para nalalabas yung mismo fumes. Kasi kapag kayo ay talagang, ayan tama, pag walang bintana, buksan ng pinto. Kasi kapag kayo ay nakalanghap ng sobrang daming chemicals, pwede magdamadamage yung utak ninyo at the same time pwede kayong mahimatay pa. Ayan. So dapat you are aware of, of keeping your windows open. Okay? Next. Protect the beds. You may, you may use mattress protectors or any available linen to cover bed while dusting and cleaning the room. The same goes for pillows. Ayan. So para hindi kayo para paghiga ninyo, hindi kayo maging, hindi mo kayo mayrita ng puro alikabok, dapat protektahan niyo yung mismo higaan ninyo. Ayan. Number nine, focus on the job. Create a list of all occasional chores you need to get done, like organizing cabinets. For example, ayan, yung mga pag-organize ng mga cabinets natin, yung pagwawalis, kailan ba dapat siya ginagawa? Again, babalik tayo sa number one, which is the create a cleaning plan. Ayan. Take a few minutes every day to check an item off the list. You don't have to spend your entire weekend cleaning. Ayan. Wag na wag niyo gagawin yung buong araw niyo bab yung parang sasabi niyo ay de sir Saturday is general cleaning day. No, don't do that. Kasi kapag sinanay niyo yung mismo sarili niyo na every Saturday lang kayo maglilinis, yung Monday to Friday niyo pwedeng mag-accumulate mag na yung mismo bacteria. So kailangan dapat every day kayo nagbili, every day kayo nagwawalis, every day kayo naglalampas, so every day dapat kayo naghugas ng plato para hindi magkaroon ng bacterial growth doon sa mismong area na yun. Okay? Designate few minutes each day to do one task. Okay? And now, let us now proceed to our next top. Eh, do you have any questions about our cleaning techniques? Do you have any questions? Ayan. Questions about our cleaning techniques para mas lalo ko pa may paliwanag. Okay. Okay. If you have any, if you don't have any questions at all, therefore, we must, I think, We may, we may now proceed to our next topic, which is the proper storage of cleaning chemicals. Ayan. So, ano ba dapat yung tamang pag-store ng mga cleaning chemicals? Ayan. Number one, store in a clean, cool, dry space. Some cleaning chemicals can have hazardous reactions when they experience extreme temperature, fluctuations, or high levels of humidity. Ayan. So, since we are dealing with a cleaning agents, These are harmful, guys. No, medyo hazardous kasi ang mga cleaning agents. Therefore, if we are using this type of cleaning agents, we must store it in a clean and cold dry space. Ayan. Kailangan dun sila nakastore. Hindi pwedeng kung saan-saan lang. Kasi pag kung saan-saan lang, pwedeng madami siya. Pwede tayong pwedeng may sako ng magana. Okay? Number two. Isa lang. Number two. Rod. Number two. Store in the well-ventilated areas away from each back intake vents. This helps prevent any fumes from spreading to other areas of the facility. Okay, so kailangan daw, yun, uh, tayo daw ay, uh, lahat daw ng mga cleaning agents natin ay nakastore in a well-ventilated areas. When we say well-ventilated, well yung ilaw maganda, may, may ilaw, makikita natin kagad yung mismong mga cleaning agents. Also, hindi dapat siya sobrang init, hindi dapat siya sobrang lamig din. Ayan. Next, number three, store no higher than eye level. And never, and never on the top shelf of the storage area. 
bakit kaya hindi siya pwede sa top storage area? Bakit kaya bawal? For example, imagine we have a cabinet here. Bakit kaya bawal ilagay ang mga cleaning agents at pinakataas? Kasi, ano? Anong pwedeng mangyari kapag kunwari nakatingala ka tapos kinakapaka pa mo lang doon yung mismo cleaning agents mo? Ano kaya pwedeng mangyari sa'yo? Kasi pwede pong matapon, that is correct. Another, baka kasi malaglag yung chemical sa mata, that is also correct. Tama yan, malaglagan, tama. So, again, we must not store any cleaning agents higher than our eye level. Ayan. Pag natapon, makakalbo ka. Agad-agad kalbo, di ba pwedeng matutunan, uh, pwedeng ma-hurt ma lang mismong katamukha mo or mata mo, ganyan. Baka kasi paglaro ng bata, tas ayun, matapon. Tama. Okay, let's get Iyak kapag nahulugan, that is correct also. Ayan. Iyak talaga, alam ko tumawa sila, di ba? Ayan, next. Number four, do not overcrowd shelves and include anti-roll lips to avoid falling containers. Ayan, katulad niyan, examples natin. Huwag na huwag kayong maglalagay o mag-store ng mga ganyang klaseng mga cleaning agents kasi pwedeng magkaroon ng chemical reaction sumabog. Number five, never store cleaning chemicals on the floor, even temporarily. Bakit kaya bawas sa floors? Kasi baka mamaya, inste, baka mamaya matapon, tapos hindi na punasan kagad, pwedeng madulas or maapektahan yung mismo paan ng ating mga kasamahan sa bahay. And number six, keep out reach of the children. Kailangan hindi dapat abot yan ng mga bata. Remember, merong mga nababalita, no? Na mga bata na akala nila juice, kas akala nila es Uh, juice, akala nila water, yun pala bleach, na inom ng bata, na, patay na, di ba? Mga ganun. So therefore, we must keep out of reach of the children any cleaning agents. Ayan. Now, do you have any questions? Any follow-ups our, about our lesson for this afternoon? Para madiscuss ko rin. Ayan. Matapos, tas, uh, grabe naman to agad, matapos, tapos, uh, basag agad ulo. Di ba pwede yung ano muna, matapos, tapos, dadalhin muna sa hospital, tapos, basag ulo, di ba tayo, wag ganun. Turuan din po ang mga bata kung paano po ano ang mga pwede at bawal. Tama yon Regine. Tama yon Dapat talaga is tinuturuan natin kung ano yung, dapat, ano yung tama at mali sa mga bata na mismong ginagamit. So dapat uh, sabihin natin, oh, ito, bawal niya itong, uh, bawal ba, kayo pupunta dito kasi puro mga chemical dito, ganyan, so on and so forth. Now, for our activities, these are your line of activities for this week. Actually, uh, pwede naman siyang gawin this week, tapos pwede naman next Next year na actually, or pwedeng by next week mo na gawin. Ayan, number one, the cleaning category. Categorize the following chemicals according to its type. Write it on the correct column below. Ayan. Alin-alin ba ang mismong sabamuriatic acid sa clean, acidic cleaning agents ba? Alkaline or neutral? Ayan, sige. Let us now answer na siguro today. Ayan. Okay. Nasaan ba dapat nakalagay si muriatic acid, vinegar, degreaser, bleach, ammonia, and sulfuric acid? So those are, uh, we, you must uh, get into the, uh, with, you must put the cleaning chemicals according to its uh, type. For example, is it acidic cleaning agents, ba, alkaline cleaning agents, or neutral washing agents? Ayan. Next, for the activity number two, yan, the, you will be doing the cleaning checklist. Okay, so complete Complete the cleaning plan chart below with the different cleaning activities based on your daily or weekly cleaning routine at home. Examples are the dusting ceiling, organizing cabinets, sanitizing kitchen sinks, sweeping floors, changing the location. So this uh, this is one of the examples. And, okay. So, ilalagay dyan, for example, kitchen. Ilalagay nyo dyan ay, ang nakalagay nyo ay uh, washing dishes. Uh, kailan ginagawa? Every day. Bathroom or toilet. Oh, cleaning the toilet. Oh, uh, every week. Ganon. Bedroom. Changing of pillowcases every week. Oh, living room. Uh, mopping floors every day. Mga so on and so forth. Ganon lang siya. At least, at, may, you may list down at least five sa apat na mismong uh, area na yan. Ano yung mga ginagawa niyo sa kitchen? Uh, lima. Sa toilet or bathroom? Lima. Sa bedroom? Lima. Sa living room? Lima. Cleaning ha, cleaning tayo sa paglilinis. Okay. Next, and number three, activity number three, create a video of yourself discussing how to organize and store properly different cleaning chemicals which commonly found at home. So, hindi mo nyo na kailangan pang bumili ng mga cleaning chemicals ha. Pwede na yung mga chemicals yung sabay ninyo. Pwede kayong gumawa ng video 
discussing na kung how, you, how you will organize and store it properly. So, pwede ipakita nyo doon yung mga cleaning, uh, proper storage of cleaning agents. Pwede nyo gawin yun doon. Parang nagpa-vlog. Ayan, guys, parang ganun-ganun. Yung katulad yung pinapasin nyo sa akin. Examples are the bleaching or chlorine solution. Refer to the given rubrics below as your guide on how to present your video. Ayan yung rubrics natin. Ayan. And now, let us remember with the, these two things. Number one, before, I wait lang. Do you have any questions about our activities for this week? Do you have any questions pa? May tanong pa ba tayo? Ayan. Baka may tanong or katanungan. Ayan. Kailan ipapasa ang mismong video? Tayo ay maglalagay na lamang sa mismong ating GC or sa mismong group page natin. Ayan. I think everyone here has a group page naman. So therefore, you must, you must upload your videos there or you may send your videos in our GC. So in my class, uh, I'll be posting again yung nakalagay sa mga, G, mga uh, group page natin. Ayan. Okay? Next. Mm -hmm. Now, after all of our discussion for this afternoon, let us remember these two things. Ayan. Number one is before using any cleaning product, before using any new cleaning product or method, make sure to test it first on a small area. Ayan. Kasi baka mamaya masilap. Instead na makakalinis pa, uh, nagi sobra na lalo pang dumumi. Okay, next. Also, remember, make your cleaning plan or checklist and get into a routine. Ayan. Make it a routinary activity. So, kailangan check nyo pala para hindi kayo tinatamad. Para at least every day, meron kayo na, ako, ako, na accomplish na isang task sa bahay ninyo. At hindi kayo nagmumukhang pabigat sa mga magulang ninyo. Maglinis kayo. Hoy! Yeah. Next. Now, let us, so since we're done with our discussion for this afternoon, let us now do a post test. Ayan. Again, the following of for our question number one, follow the following chemicals are the types of cleaning agents used in housekeeping. Except one, ano kaya yun? Number one, what is the correct answer? Number one, ano kaya yun? What is the correct answer for number one? Ano nung true? <laughs> Ayan, may true. True yan, maglinis kayo sa bahay ninyo. What is the answer for number one? Anyone from the class? Yeah, that is correct. Letter A. Thank you, Jamela. How about for this number two? This term refers to the hard, crusty deposits of lime, calcium, and other minerals common in areas with hard water. What is this? Letter A is calding. Letter B is scaling. Letter C is oily. Letter D is staining. What is this? What do you think is the correct answer for this? Letter B. That is correct. Okay, how about for this one? Number three. Which of the following cleaning techniques does not belong to the group? Letter A. Create a cleaning plan. Letter B, keep the windows closed. Or letter C, start at the top. Or letter D, use chemicals cautiously. What do you think is the correct answer for this? Letter does not belong. Huh? Does not belong. Does not belong. Does not belong. Letter B, keep the windows closed. Bakit hindi pwedeng nakaklose ang windows? Kasi baka tayo ay masuffocate. Number four, these are the substances used to remove dirt, including dust, stains, bad smells, and clutter on surfaces. What do you think is this a cleaning agent? Yeah. What do you think is this one? Letter number four. Number four na tayo. Letter number four na tayo. Number four, number four. What do you think is the correct answer for number four? Number four. Mm-hmm. Number four is what? Number four is letter. Mm -hmm. Letter is it letter B? Is it, a, it is a collective, but a collective term for the substances. Is it letter B? Ba? Dust, stains, bad smells, clutter on surfaces. That is correct letter C, cleaning agents. Ayan. Kasi those three, all the alkaline cleaning agents, the CD cleaning agents, and the neutral washing agents, those are under the cleaning agents. Ayan. Okay? And number five, which of the following statement is incorrect? Letter A, store in a well-ventilated areas away from HVAC intake vents. This helps prevent any fumes from spreading to other areas of the facility or letter B, store higher than I-11 and on top shelf of the storage area or letter C, do not overcrowd shelves 
and include anti-rote lips to avoid falling containers. Or letter D, never store cleaning chemicals on the floor, even temporarily containers. Ayan. Alin kaya dyan ng mali? Yes, that is correct. Letter B, that is correct. Justine, Kyle, Pinky, Ann. Yan. Congratulations, you've got the correct answer. Okay. So, thank you for listening for our discussion for this afternoon. And this credit goes to the slides go. And if you have some questions, do not hesitate to, add, to ask your teachers. Ma Melanie Faustino, our, uh, one of the best teachers in LTLE. Ma'am Felipe V. Conde. And also for me, Sir Zoran Valdissimo. By the way, class, may I just remind you, so yung last week kasi para nagkaroon na tayo ng problem sa ating quizzes, Natama yung mga sagot ninyo pero hinwala doon talaga para namamali po ata siya. Uh, let me uh, just send me the screenshot of your answers so that I may now and uh, I may add those things onto your scores. Okay? Para mas madali tayo. Anyway, class, congratulations to all of our with honors here and also I greet you uh, Merry Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of us. And also, I'll be uploading our one of our uh, one of my rather my, uh, of our uh, video lessons for week number four. So also watch this, watch also that uh, uh, video lesson in order for you to have or in order for you to learn our lesson for this week number four. Okay, do you have any questions? And Arika, thanks also to all of you class. Again, thank you and Merry Christmas again. This is again your sir, uh, your teacher for this afternoon, Sir Zoran, discussing about our discussion for this week, which is the cleaning agents. Okay. Goodbye and thank you. Sa Bagumbong High School, lamang ang batang may alam.